Hello everyone, welcome back to Breakage Barriers. I've been working for a while now, so I'm kind of out of breath. So um, anyway, welcome back to Breakage Barriers. Blessing here, aka Lady B. It's all about humanity. Today will be a continuation of caring for our hair. Be you African, dark skinned person, or black caring for our hair is very important and or knowing how to care for our hair is very important most of us including me uh, in the past when when I was living in Africa I actually didn't know how to care for the kind of uh, hair texture that I have when I say care for the hair I don't mean like keeping it clean of course you have to keep your hair clean <laughs> so that's expected but when i say caring for your hair i mean knowing how to manage your type of hair texture some of us african black uh, or dark skinned people whatever you identify yourself as do not know how to uh, care or manage our hair type so that's what i will be taking you through today knowing understanding your hair texture knowing how to care for your hair is very important so let's do this one thing we must all bear in mind is that all hair types do have their own advantages and disadvantages and challenges so this is not to say only the four hair type texture has challenges even those who have straightened hair do have challenges managing their hair i just want to get that cleared anyways for this occasion uh, we're going to be talking specifically about the 4a 4b and 4c hair types because that's the one i prefer talking about and i can relate i'm going to be giving you seven ways of maintaining your natural coily 4a 4b and 4c type of hair all right number one you must understand that your hair texture types needs moisture so you need to retain moisture if you have these hair types that means the porosity of the hair matters so even if you have low porosity hair type for example, maybe 4C type rather than the 4A coily hair, you still need to keep your hair moisturized. So you must always apply moisture like hair moisturizers because the 4A, 4B and 4C coils do prevent the distribution of sebum. For example, natural oil produced by your scalp throughout your hair because the coils stay in the way of the oil penetrating this is why moisturizing your hair regularly is required find a good moisturizer and a good sealant depending on your hair type if it falls under 4a 4b or 4c personally i find that olive oil and aloe vera works well for my hair type but everyone's hair type is different so find yours number two do not over shampoo your hair as a four hair type carrier you need to shampoo your hair less for example make sure you don't shampoo your hair more than once a week why because it's going to take out all the moisture and that can lead to hair dryness and once your hair gets dry then it starts breaking so avoid shampooing your hair more than once a week if your hair gets dirty more often depending on your location alternate your shampoo with co-wash or follow shampoo with an apple cider vinegar rinse wash your hair in sections to prevent tangles because our hair do get tangled oftentimes which brings us to number three detangling our hair 
you need to detangle your hair frequently because the coils are so tight they lock into one another it's like they are <laughs> they are hugging one another so you need to detangle them so you can be able to easily comb it out if that's what you choose to do so this is extra important for those who have 4a 4b or 4c hair type because the tight coil pattern of your hair can cause hairs to coil and coil around each other causing tangles tangles lead to breakage which hinders growth detangle regularly and gently as well using a white tooted comb on damp hair don't use a brush use a conditioner to add sleep and help with the process when you find knots don't yank it out use your fingers to gently pull hairs out of the knot remember you need to do this gently our hair needs a lot of patience and love number four deep conditioning your hair type to retain moisture so what this means is you must deep condition your hair deep condition every two weeks our hair thrives with weekly deep conditioning treatments this will keep your hair healthy bouncy and shiny and will prevent snagging and tangles so get your own deep conditioner the one that works well for your hair and make sure you do a weekly deep conditioning that helps to soften it and makes the coil shine true number five avoid over styling your hair styling products dry out your hair build up on your scalp weigh down your hair and so on touching and styling your hair excessively can also lead to breakage for example if you want to carry a particular style like weave or bantu knot make sure you use less hair styling products because it weighs down your hair number six style your hair with shrinkage in mind our hair because of the so many coils and tight coils that looks like an o shape shrinks a lot so bear that in mind shrinkage is normal for our hair type because it's coiled up so it's expected or it should be expected <laughs> anyways shrinkage can be frustrating sometimes because it keeps you from seeing how lengthy your hair is or the amount of growth that you have acquired because it's understandably all coiled up and it can also make your hair more susceptible to tangles and single strands knots you can explore heat free styles that stretch your hair such as twist out braid out but don't forget to embrace and celebrate shrinkage because it's part of our hair so for me personally i find that twisting my hair helps it to grow and stay healthy but what works for me might not work for you so find what works for you for some people it's bound to not for some people it's weaving your hair carrying braids for a while so find out what works for your hair all right and seven our hair is versatile our hair is incredibly manageable you only need to know how. And I've stated some of the ways you can manage and love your hair. Let's wear our hair with pride. Let's embrace our hair and showcase it. We can do so many styles. One beautiful side of a 4A, 4B, 4C hair type is that you can wear it in different styles. You can wear one hairstyle this week. Next week you are looking different and wearing it another style in two or three weeks time you can change it up again and change your look and people will be like oh but i saw you you weren't looking like this huh? you say yes because i've got a very versatile durable loving hair and i can change up my look at any time so embrace your hair so thank you for watching uh do take care of yourself and i'll see you in the next video so keep watching Make sure you press the subscribe button, the notification bell, so, so you know and you are notified whenever I upload. Alright, see you next time. Take care and keep loving your hair. Bye.